Good afternoon, cherries. Goal footage, fan footage, chats in the 1910 bar. It can only be the back of the net vlog. Welcome. Thanks for checking out the channel. This vlog is brought to you by the Skybet EFL Rewards app. Now, with the app, you can check in on match days, earn achievements, and be rewarded for just being a fan of the Cherries. And during the rest of this month, so even for the rest of today, they've still got a whole host of prizes to be won, including this cost of a season ticket, Football Manager 22 codes, Puma EFL match balls, and a hell of a lot more. There's only one day of the month left, and they've still got a lot of prizes to be given out. So it's a good time to get on board. So yesterday on the app, you'll have seen that uh, myself and Morgan predicted the results uh, to a to a varying degree of success. It's really easy. You don't have to predict the score lines. It's literally just a case of predicting the outcomes there as well. So that's what we went for on that side of the screen. But also what you can do is check into matches that you're going to at Dean Court or either remotely as well. And when you do check in, you can spin to win. And as I said, there's a chance to win loads of stuff. So make sure you get on board the Skybet EFL Rewards app. If you top the weekly leaderboard or you're in the top five, you will be in with a chance to win prizes. So why not do it? It's free. You can download it now. Link is in the description. Right. Let's do this. It's time to go to Dean Call. Good evening, welcome to this match day vlog. Morgan and I have just had a harvester. Morgan, how was it? What did you have? Well, I just had a massive burger that was almost as big as me. So yeah, it was really good. Um, uh, I've been feeling a bit fatigued over the last few days. Lateral flows have been fine, so I've not, not got COVID or anything like that. So we're all good, but good. it's... Um, it's important to get some food into you when you're not feeling great, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, you know what? And we had some really good food at the Harvester. And then to the 19-10 bar we are now. How are you feeling about the game today, mate? Uh, yeah, I think um, did I say I think I said two one earlier, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think even more will get one for them. Uh, they got whatever they're allowed to remix it an away game, so they can win fans. So I think they're going to be noisy, uh, but I think the boys are going to have too much. Hopefully, Solanke's going to be at it, and uh, it'd be nice if Ryan Christie finally scores to set this year on the high, won't it? Right, I think team news is going to be out very, very shortly. So let's go find Tom. Right, court to seven. Tom John's here. Tom, you're right. Yeah, good. Thank you. Team, you've seen it. What is it? What is it? It's exactly as I expected, actually. A little bit disappointed, but Mets have been dropped. Uh, Kelly's back. And Anthony's in for Stanislaus. That's had a bit of a knock. And Davis is back on the bench. Uh, no kill Kelly at this point. So he's been dropped for Davis. But um, yeah, Mets, Mets out. Kelly in. Anthony in. Stanislaus out. Kind of as I expected, but I understand the status that's one, we know his injury record, but I feel for Mets. Yeah, yeah, it feels well. like he just comes in, puts a shift in, then gets dropped like every time, but it's a strong team, strong team. How are you feeling about how it's going to go today? The Cardiff fans are going to be loud, but you know, they can't watch their own team at home. Yeah, that's true. Uh, sounds like there's a lot here. They're staying down for the weekend, I would imagine, but um, yeah, I, I like to think we'll have too much for them. I like to think we'll have too much, but it's a championship, mate. Could go, could go any way, but yeah, I think we'll have too much. I feel like Christy might score. <laughs> um, it better won't. happen. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-0 today. Confident. We need, we need to win, mate. We seem to Fulham get another game postponed. Games packing up for them. We need to just keep winning. Keep finding them out. Cut the winnable games now. So, two wins at home and we'll be flying again. Up chess. It's Adam and Ben Hensman. Boys, how you doing? Good. Good. How are you feeling about the game today, Adam? Good. What, what's the score going to be? What's the score going to be? Three two to us. Cardiff are going to score a couple of goals then, but we've got no, too much. Three one. Three one. You're going for. Yeah. Ben, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's going to turn out well, but I don't. Um, I'm going to say two nil. Two nil to Bournemouth. Right, we got some confident score lines here. Both two goal margins, so we're happy with that. Up the cherries. Up the cherries. George is here. George, how are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Sam. Very well, thank you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year for the cherries. Yeah, um, it's good that we got that win at QPR. We need to follow up now, don't we? 100%, yeah. I think we're back to full strength pretty much as well now. Um, I fancy, thanks to Christy tonight, I also fancy us to do a clean sheet. Um, yeah, back to the back to return to form, really, from the, from the, from the uh, defensive perspective. And um, yeah, I see us winning comfortably tonight, maybe three. 
Three nil. I'm, I'm actually going for three nil. Yeah, big time, big time. Hello, mate. Pensman. Good evening, fella. Sorry about spilling drink on your coat. We're do all I, good. We're all good. Do you want to tell them what happened? There was a little uh, accident which involved the rest of my beer and Adam's new uh, oh, Tom, AFC Bournemouth coat. I thought it was Tom's beer. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, Oh, it would be absolute carnage if someone spilled his beer. Oh, I must have his beer. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. It's all, it's all clean and sorted now. Shall we fight? No. Let's wrestle. <laughs> score prediction. Score prediction. Uh, I went for a 2 0 yesterday and I'm sticking with that. A 2 0. Sam, I keep, I keep hearing that at the moment we're at home games. It's the same stuff in it. We think we're going to win, you know, same kind of stuff. So I'm going to try and pull something different out of the back. Christy is going to score tonight. Ryan Christie, goal. Right. Remember it, remember it. Are we going to put a point on it? Yeah. Yeah, all right. He'll score, though. Like. Happy Chris. Have I seen you since Chris? Oh, yeah, I've seen yeah. you the other day. <laughs> so forget that. Cut. Uh, how are you, Heather? Are you all right? I'm good, thank you. How are you feeling about today's game? I feel excited and positive about it. Excellent. Your score prediction this morning on the breakfast show, what was it? 3-1. 3-1? To us, yeah. Who, who's going to be scoring? Is it going to be one of your... Well, it's going to be Phil Bill, right? Phil what? Bill, Dom, and probably not Christy, so um, <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. We'll take that 3-1. That's the second person to say that. Okay. Right, I think we're getting into the stadium soon. Yeah. Andy Clark, not quite your vlog, vlog debut. You've been on before, haven't you? I've been on before a little while ago, yeah. I'm looking forward to this game. Should be should be an absolute corker. Yeah, Who's um, who in the Cardiff team do you think is going to be um, a bit of a threat today? Well, obviously, Kiefer Moore is yep. absolutely... Agreed, yeah. Well, goal, score, goal threat, isn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm worried about him, but it's obvious to me, I think... I think we've got this sign up already. Right, I'm looking at 3-0, to be honest, Sam. Mate, you're not the first to have said that. 3-0. No. Let's do it. Up the cherries. and then uh, Jefferson Lerma baits it just over the top of the crossbar. How's he held that up? How's he held that up? Oh my god, yeah, no! Oh, oh, fucking hell, take it first time, Lewis! Why didn't he hit it first time? Lewis needed to take that first time, mate. I don't know why he didn't. Corner, though, come on. Better than some other people we get. Hey mate, how, how, how amazing was Dom Solanke in that, eh? Very good. Dom Solanke's work rate. Well, Ron did Christie's I send the ball out? Let's start. End 2021 with a Christie goal. It's happened. Come on, Mary Christie. Down to ten men. Well, I 
mean, it, looks, it, it, it looks terrible. Holding his leg, it? It, it, it looks terrible. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to fill me a lot of problems. I wouldn't be surprised if that fracas gives us another fifteen thousand pound fight. Love it. Well done, Kenny. Should have done better with that, my god. Jeff should have done better with that, shouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. There we go! Easy! We've been toying with him, mate. We've been toying with him. 2 0. Dom, again. Just got back from Dean Court then, and a 3-0 win to the Cherries. Much deserved, I'd say. You could argue that the red card maybe changed how the second half panned out, but I thought that we were dominant. Look, Cardiff had some really good early chances, and Travers, when called on, was pretty much on the money. One of the headers was blasted straight at him, so that was relatively easy. But he made a couple of good saves to keep us in the game. And then Ryan Christie turned up with that deflected shot. And that really was the catalyst for Bournemouth dominating the rest of the game. I thought that we truly deserved it. And this is going to do wonders for our confidence. It really is. As we go into a Peterborough match now on the third with a chance of making it three on the spin. And when you look at the fixtures even beyond that as well, you're kind of thinking, OK, is this a chance for us to put a run together again? Hope you enjoyed this match day vlog. Thank you for all your support in 2021. It's been a fun ride doing Back of the Net. Huge ideas for 2022. So at the bottom there, make sure you get involved because we're going to be on the ball and covering AFC Bournemouth's promotion to the Premier League. It's going to happen, right? Thanks for your support. Up the cherries. Happy New Year, guys.